We've been covering the Trayvon Martin story since March 8th, and uh, we've done eight different stories on it at least between the online show and the current show. By the way, up until now, up until today, uh, according to Think Progress, Fox News had done one story. So we're doing eight to one uh, uh, more coverage of this story than Fox News, the entire channel is, right? Because uh, we care about it, and, and, and obviously uh, some others uh, don't find it a priority for whatever reasons. Now, uh, I have to confess, though, that as we were covering this, we missed something that I think everyone else has missed as well. But you know who caught it? Our viewers. We put this uh, up on uh, YouTube last night, and then we started getting messages. Hey, you guys missed something that George Zimmerman said. Now, of course, Trayvon Martin's a 17-year-old African-American teenager who was shot in, down in Sanford, Florida, by George Zimmerman, who was 10 years a senior and had a, had a gun. Trayvon Martin had nothing but Skittles in his pocket, right? So now we showed the night, we played the 911 tapes here, and you hear uh, Zimmerman say things like, "They always get away," right? Uh, and he's clearly chasing after Trayvon Martin. Uh, so Trayvon Martin is not the aggressor George Zimmerman is. But listen to what he says right after, towards the end of this clip here, this is the 911 tape, after he says he's headed towards the back entrance. Listen very, very carefully. Go ahead. Just got up on anything else. Okay. These assholes, they always get away. Shit, he's running. He's running. Which way is he running? It appears on the tape there that he mumbled under his breath, fucking coons. Now, could it have been something else? You know, I, could it have been fucking goons? It could have been, it doesn't seem as logical, and it sounds more like coons than goons, right? Mm -hmm. And he mumbles it under his breath, I think that's why everybody missed it, except for the Young Turk viewers. You put anything up on YouTube and they will dissect it second by second. Absolutely. And you guys caught it. So now that you know what uh, we think he's saying, I wanna listen to it one more time. Right after he says back entrance there, he seems to mumble under his breath as you guys caught the words that I just said. So let's, let's watch again. Well, I've now listened to it at least half a dozen times. It definitely sounds like fucking coons. Yeah, I, given the context as well, it's, it would make much more sense if he said coons rather than goons. So, And I, I hear the k in, in that sentence. I don't hear a G. Right. And look, I'm just trying to be as objective as possible in looking at it, listening to it, and, and seeing if it could be anything else. But I got to you know, give it up to, the, to our audience. That's a hell of a catch. And thank God we put it up and you guys analyze it and that's why you're an important part of the show. Thanks for doing that. I, I think that uh, does that, you know, certainly speaks to the issue of whether George Zimmerman is a racist or not. And now I see all the time, and so now some conservative talk show hosts have started talking about, oh, oh, it's absurd to think this is a racial issue. Really? Is it still absurd after you hear that?